We have all used the terms heart attack and cardiac arrest as the same at some point, but did you know they're not the same? Stay for the rest of the video so you can learn more about the differences, how to identify them, and what to do with a person that presents any of these affections. Welcome to Med and Unclick, the most recent scientific content. Let's talk about cardiac arrest first, also known as sudden cardiac arrest. And as its name says, the function of the heart as a pump stops. When this happens, the blood flow detains and in a matter of minutes, the person dies. The cardiac arrest is caused by an alteration of the normal electric activity of the heart, resulting in arrhythmias. An arrhythmia is a disturbance in the heart rhythm either by increased or decreased heartbeats per minute. As the pumping of the heart is interrupted, blood does not arrive correctly to the brain, lungs, and other organs, making the person lose consciousness and impossible to find a peripheric pulse. What are some of the causes of a cardiac arrest? Heart attack, severe bleeding, choking, electric shocks, and others. So. What should I do if I encounter with a person that does not respond, doesn't have a pulse or breathe? Call 911 or your emergency response number. Start immediately cardiopulmonary resuscitation or CPR. And if there's an automated external defibrillator or AED, use it. The AED is an electronic device that provides with an electric shock in the presence of a cardiac arrest. The cardiac arrest is one of the leading causes of death worldwide, and knowing how to perform a well-made CPR technique can help saving thousands of lives. Let's continue with heart attack, also known as acute myocardial infarction. It arises as a consequence of a blockage of blood flow to any area of the heart, and of course, with this event, there will not be enough oxygen to this heart section what will lead to death of the tissue. The main cause of blood flow detainment is atherosclerosis, a condition that provokes the buildup of atherosclerotic plaques on the artery walls. When these plaques rupture, the pieces can form a clot that blocks the artery and stops the irrigation to the heart. But how can I identify a heart attack? The most common symptom of this condition is chest pain that some patients describe as if someone is making a pressure or squeezing their heart. Sometimes, this pain spreads to the shoulders, left arm, neck, jaw, and back. They can also present sweating, fatigue, and stomach ache when the infarction is in the inferior wall of the heart, which can be confused with indigestion and delay the treatment of the heart attack. As soon as we have the suspicion that it may be a heart attack, we need to call 911 or bring the patient to the closest health center. But attention! The person with the infarction must not drive, should do it someone else. And remember, never leave the person by themselves, because a heart attack can lead to a cardiac arrest. And if this happens, start the whole protocol of CPR. To prevent the cardiac arrest or the heart attack, we should visit our doctor regularly and follow the treatments to any disease and live a healthy lifestyle which includes not smoking, exercising, and consume a balanced low-fat diet rich in fruits and vegetables. Do you think you are capable of identifying a heart attack and a cardiac arrest? Even though these are two different events, if they are not treated on time, can lead to the patient's death. Just remember, if you don't feel confident in doing a well-made CPR, the smartest thing is just calling 911. This is all for this video. If you want to learn more about CPR and AED protocol, leave it in the comments. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and click the little bell button down there so you won't miss any of our videos. And we will really appreciate if you could click on super thanks button as well to support this kind of content. Thank you for being a part of Medenunclick.